Hey everybody, Rory here with the Goddess Isis Coven. All right, so we are in story time and today I am going to start a story for you. All right, so um, as you all probably know, if you've been following my stories, I am Isis. I'm the reincarnation of Isis in this lifetime as a human. And um, one thing about Isis is she dealt with challenges um, when she was first here as a being, as a human. And um, she dealt with things that had to deal with the darker side of things. She fought her own brother who was not really a pleasant person to towards her. Um, and you can go look up those stories. But um, I too have had to deal with the darker sides of things in this lifetime. And it's been interesting. And I want to share one of my first experiences with you all when I had to deal with the dark side. Now, before I start every day, I get guidance from spirit as to what I'm to talk about today because this project was not me. It was not initiated by me. I was directed by Source Creator to come out here and share my story with you. So today I was guided to share with you one of my first times that I experienced uh, uh, dealing with a dark being um, or a lower vibrational being, whatever you want to call them, okay? Uh, demonic forces, whatever you want to call them. So um, as I shared in another video, oftentimes I meditate and in the mornings I would meditate for a couple of hours and this is many years ago. I would, and at this time I was living in Sacramento, California. So I'd meditate for a, a couple of hours and while I would meditate, information like other people's information would come to me and sometimes I'd receive messages for people and I would have to deliver the messages to the people. And if I didn't do that, then the messages would continue to come. It was like someone giving you a message and, and like, if you don't deliver this message, you know, I'm going to bug you every day or whatever, right? So one day I got this message and it was for a, a, a young lady. And I was told that, and it was a flood of information, but basically, and I might not remember it all in great detail, so I'm going to do my best. But basically, I got this message that this young lady's daughter um, had some spirits with her that weren't high vibrational spirits. They were darker spirits or whatever you want to call them. You know, people call them different things. Okay. So... Um, there were lower vibrational spirits that were with this young girl. And at the time, she was maybe about 15 or 16 years old. And the spirits had been with her since she was between the age of five and seven. And I can't remember which age it was right now, but I know it was between the age of five and seven. And um, the spirits came to her for protection initially. So she called this spirit in to help her um she had been touched and 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 I, that's how i'm going to explain that you all know what i mean and she called for protection and the protection came in the form of a spirit and and so and then what else happened and now the spirit had been with her for a long period of time and became a little nefarious would do little not so nice things to her with her through her you know and so some of the things that the spirit started doing now as a teenager was it had her um herself and it had her trying to do things to herself to not be here anymore um, doing things like driving cars into trees, um, going into a specific closet to do cutting behavior, um, and some other things. So, you know, and I didn't know all the things, but after I delivered this message to the mother, then I got more information from the mother. And so, so anyway, so 
I I get all this information. And I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? And so I eventually, after being bugged, I eventually told her, I, told, I asked the mom, could I speak with her? And I was like, okay, I have to tell you something. Um, and then I first had to explain that I was intuitive. And because back then, people didn't really know that I was intuitive. They didn't really know that I was doing healing work. I just disguised everything as meditation. Oh, I'm just doing meditation. <laughs> and and I would go at this time I was in the Berkeley Psych I was at the Berkeley Psychic Institute for six years and they thought I was just going to meditation class a couple times a week. <laughs> so anyway, so I had to explain that I don't just be going to meditation class. I'm really intuitive and blah blah blah. I've been learning my gifts and you know, I had to explain. Sometimes when I meditate, things come to me and some things came to me about your daughter and please don't think I'm crazy, but, and you don't have to believe me, but if I don't tell you this information, it's going to just bug me until I tell you. So can we talk? And so she said, yes. And so we sat down and I started telling her everything that I just shared with you. And she said, you know what, Rory, you're not going to believe this. And I was like, what? And she said, just a week ago, my daughter came to me and shared some of those same things with me. And I was like, wow. And so I don't think she knew that her daughter had been touched. Um, she knew that her daughter, she knew something was wrong. And she knew something had happened back when she was either five or seven, but she didn't know what it was. And then she said, you know, one thing she used to do was she would surround her bed with angels and she would have all different kind of angels. And that's what she collected, like stuffed animal type angels. And she put them all around her bed. And she said every night when she went to bed, she would line her bed up with angels like they were her army, okay? And so I'm going to finish, and I'm not going to finish. I'm going to continue because <laughs> this story is a little long because it goes all over the place. So I'm going to continue in the next one.